Ooh, we have five of Michael. I'm going to tell you all about this. I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. My website is angelsouls444.com. If you want a live reading, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you watch this and you like it, there you go. All right. This situation doesn't serve you. Some of y'all got to get out. Oof. Okay. So five is a shakeup. Five is... Like, I always, I always imagine five, like the five-pointed star and like it, it cartwheels. Like you have your bad moments, you have a good moment, you have bad moments, you have good moments. And sometimes things can get rolling so fast that you, you know, you don't even know which end is up. So that might be what you're kind of coming into. Now, Michael comes in and helps remove this negative energy. At least that's how we've always seen it. To me, it's lifting you up in a frequency so that the negativity just sort of shakes off of you. So if you were lifted out of sand, the sand would just sort of shake off of you. I don't, I don't know that that was a great analogy, but it's what I've got right now. Okay, thank you. All right, so the card says, <laughs> the situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Oof, that's the one thing we all have a problem with. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Hey, that okay how many comment down below do any of you imagine the little claw machine and it like lifts you out and puts you in a different place okay let's go with that one because i like it all right <laughs> but release your attachment to the outcome this is the biggest thing when i do readings for clients and i'm bringing through angelic energy and angelic messaging people are almost like rude sometimes sometimes they're rude okay <laughs> like don't tell me this and don't tell me that and I want it to be like this and I expect this and I expect that it doesn't help that a lot of manifestation teachers out there are teaching like expect it and it will come I mean uh depends on how you're approaching that I guess but um when you have an expectation it's usually coming because the ego consciousness, the third dimensional density ego consciousness wants to formulate something that makes sense within this realm. Fine. We, we have no complaint about that, right? Except it's very limited. And so you might be sitting there trying to manifest one particular love partner. Oh my gosh, don't do that. People argue with me. How's your karma tasting? You interfered with another person's free will. If you ain't going to pay for it now, you will pay for it later. You will pay for it in another timeline. What were we talking about? Okay, so, <laughs> so if you are going to be coming from a place of limitation, if, if you're trying to, you know, manifest that specific person because you think they're going to be so good for you and then you get into it and then you don't want to admit that, hey, this is really awful. Or, hey, um, I didn't leave it open to the universe to show me what is possible to see what all the potentials were because I was controlling it too much. Go back and watch the weekly. The weekly had co-creation there. This is about opening up and knowing that you are part of the universe and kind of flowing with the universe to see where that takes you as opposed to, I want to be, like in my case, I want to be an author and I want to win a Pulitzer Prize and I want to brand socks came to mind. I'm in a weird mood. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I am. I'm a little tired, a little tired. Okay. <laughs> but socks, I'm going to brand socks, Angel Souls socks, something like that. You know, like I, these are my big dreams and that's how it's got to be. Well, the universe might say, well, okay, like it's all well and good, but that's one granule of the bigger picture that you're supposed to be encompassing. Maybe, maybe the real thing is being the messenger. It's being the speaker, the teacher, you know, somebody who tries to lift other people up so they feel inspired or um, comforting people with words. That's the difference. So when we lock down on our expectation, we are so limiting ourselves. How do you know that that one person you're obsessed with is the one? Oh, I can tell you, if you're obsessed with them, they're not the one. No, but they're my twin flame. Did you just say, do you want me to talk about? No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, get on my soapbox about twin flames. Okay. Anyway, so 
leave it open to the universe here. And when you're supposed to take action, it'll make sense to do so. And you'll know exactly what you have to do. So I will leave you alone for today. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.